Hello students. Today we are going to learn advanced features of Excel. A chart is a graphical representation of data in a worksheet. It is an effective way to display data in a pictorial form. It helps to provide a better understanding of large quantities of data. Charts make it easier to draw comparison and see growth and relationship among the values and trends in data. They provide an accurate analysis of information. So as you have seen in Microsoft Excel, charts are used to make a graphical representation or a pictorial representation or a visual representation of any set of data. So charts is a tool used to communicate your data graphically. Charts allow your audience to see the meaning behind the numbers. Comparisons and trends are shown a lot easier. So charts, charts communicate information effectively as the data entered in your worksheet can often be difficult to interpret, isn't it? For example, where are the highest marks and lowest marks? Are the numbers increasing or decreasing uh, in the information you have entered in the worksheet? So the answer to questions like these can become much easier, much clearer when your data is represented as a chart. Excel has many different kind of kinds of charts and you can choose any type of the chart that most effectively represent your data but before learning the types of charts let's learn about the various components or the elements or the parts of a chart let's first start with the components of a chart let us learn about various components of a chart that are depicted in the figure number one chart area Chart area includes all the area and objects in the chart. So you can see in the figure number one, where number one is labeled here in the figure. It's a chart area. It is a total area that contains all the elements of a chart. No chart element can be outside this area. So this is the biggest area, the chart area. Next is category axis and value axis. Number two, category axis. Category axis or x axis is the horizontal axis of a chart. Number three, value axis. Value axis or y axis is the vertical axis used to plot the values. It is located at the left side. So, number two is labeled for category axis, see in the figure. It is also known as a x axis. It is a horizontal axis you can see, which usually displays the categories. And number three is value axis. It is also called as a vertical axis or y-axis. It is usually displays the value or scale against which data points are displayed in the chart. And your Excel spreadsheet or worksheet automatically adjusts the scales to make sure that all the data points are visible. Number four, data series or series. Number four, data series. Data series are the bars, slices or other elements that show the data values. If there are multiple data series in the chart, each will have a different color or style. Yes, data series. A data series is a row or column of numbers that are entered in a worksheet and plotted in your chart. So they are the bars or slices that shows data values. And as shown in the figure, you can see if there are multiple data series, then each will have a different color or different style. Next, number five is category name. Number five, category name. Category names are the labels which are displayed on the X and Y axis. Number six, plot area. Category name. So basically category names are column or row headings. These names are displayed on X axis and Y axis in a chart. Number five is indicated, indicating category name. Number six is plot area. Plot area is a window within the chart area. It contains the actual chart itself and includes plotted data, data series, category and value axis. Plot area actually represents the data in graphical form or uh, displays the actual chart itself. It contains elements such as graphs, lines, bars, pi or data series, x axis and y axis. Uh, we have learned about chart area also, but the difference between plot area and chart area is chart area includes charts and the entire element related to the chart, 
whereas plot area does not uh, cover up the entire elements of the chart so it covers the less space the less area than uh, the plot area covers the less area than the chart area chart area is always bigger than the plot area and plot area is smaller in size next legend number 7 legend it depicts the colors patterns or symbols assigned to the data series it helps to differentiate the data so in the figure you can see number 7 is indicating legend it is a box uh, shown at the bottom of the chart uh, according to our picture on the screen legend is a box that contains symbols patterns showing the name and color of each series in the chart we use legend to help the readers or the viewers to understand the charted data whenever you create a chart in excel a legend for the chart is automatically created or generated at the same time by default we get legends when it is created by default it, uh, it is always displayed at the bottom of every chart but that is not the end of it we can adjust it to the left right top top right and bottom of the chart in order to change the positioning of the legend in the later version if you talk about the latest version there is a small plus button a plus symbol on the right hand side of the chart it appears we will learn later on uh, how uh, the uh, the legend the position the position of the legend is changed next is chart title number 8 chart title it describes the aim and contents of the chart number 9 grid line these can either be horizontal or vertical lines depending on the selected chart type they extend across the plot area of the chart grid lines make it easier to read and understand the values chart title depicts the content of the chart whenever you create a chart it does not always shown a chart title you can add or edit a chart title manually and you can place it on or above the chart and number 9 is indicating grid lines you can see the horizontal lines here you can place vertical lines also they are uh, known as grid lines so what is the use of grid lines here in a chart it helps in reading the values of the data points they are scaled according to the values of the axes so grid lines makes the data in a chart displays easier to read you can uh, easily read your data in the chart with the help of grid lines you can display horizontal and vertical chart grid lines across the plot area of the chart so you don't need to use the scale to understand uh, the data uh, to read the data in the chart